What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I pulled out my Frankation palette. This is Dose of Colors collaboration with Kitty and Desi. If you guys don't know them or follow them on YouTube, they are amazing people and I love them both. I also wanted to play with these colors in here. Like I said before, I wanted to do more tutorials using the palettes I have that no one really talks about anymore. And by the way, I just checked on Dose of Colors website and they still have this in stock. And on the plus side, it's on sale. It's for $27, I believe. $27.50. So it's on sale. If you guys can, get your hands on it. Especially now that's on sale before they officially go out of stock and won't come back again. Because I believe this is a limited edition collection. So if you guys want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, then just keep on. Okay guys, so you guys already know, I already primed my lids with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 2. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the first shade of this palette, which is Juro. This color is going to go right in our transition area and a little bit in our crease as well. I'm taking that on a Makeup by Mario EF2 brush. This is a fluffy, beautiful brush like this. Gets in your transition and your crease beautifully. I'm going to take a bit of trudel, like that on my brush, and apply this in my crease and slightly up to my transition. And of course, I didn't show you guys that I prime my lids because it's the same thing every time that I do it. Of course, with this shade, you're just going to go back and forth, concentrate it in the crease and then feather it out into your transition area. Now bring a bit more of churro and building this color up. And to blend out churro a little bit, I'm going to take the shade Necessary. Use this shade right here just to help blend this line out. Next shade I'm going to take is Cheens. It's a beautiful brown shade right here. I'm going to be taking that on a Mario E3 brush. It's flat, it's a tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna map out my crease like always. I'm gonna place it directly in the crease, go back and forth. And this shadow is so pigmented, so be careful. Now that I mapped out Jeans. I'm going to go ahead and take Judo once again to help brand out jeans. Going back in with jeans. Making a little bit more churro. And then we're going to go ahead with necessary. So now that we have that gradient on, we're going to go ahead and take the star of the show, which is game over. You can tell, I don't know if you can or not, but I already made a dent in this blue one. It's called A Moment. But this is the one we're going to take next. So I'm going to take that shade on my finger first and apply this all over my lid. Patting motions. I don't want any of that glitter falling onto my face. I'm sorry guys, my finger nails aren't painted. My eczema is flaring up and I don't know if it's the acetone and nail polish, but I'm gonna stop painting my nails for a little bit until it cools down for a bit. Now to get into these edges right here, I am gonna take my P. Louise flat brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna take the tip of it and just apply it in these corners I couldn't get with my finger.
You guys, I didn't cut my lid like I always do. Or cut my crease, I should say. I feel like with some palettes and some colors here, you do kind of have to. But with this one, you definitely do not. Look how beautiful that shade is. It's like a blue slash gray black undertone. I don't know, I just love it. Do you guys love my descriptions, by the way? <laughs> I need to get better at doing that. Now I'll be taking a smaller blending brush. This is the JH40. And I'm gonna be taking Cheens, just a little bit, and helping blend out this line we created right here in our crease. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Mario EF2 brush and just blend. I have my Sigma shader crease E47. I'm gonna take Churro again and place that under my lower lash line. Now with a Morphe M455 brush, a pencil brush just like this, I'm gonna take Trudle, of course is this brown shade again, and smush this under my lash line as well. Going back in with that Sigma crease brush, blending it out some more. Next up, I'm gonna be taking my Marc Jacobs Highlighter Matte Eye Gel Crayon, and this is in the shade Brownie. I'm gonna line my upper and lower waterline with this. I didn't wanna go with the black, so I didn't wanna be too harsh. This shade complemented the browns I put underneath. I also feel like if you put a brown eyeliner in your waterline and you have brown eyes like me, it definitely makes them pop a little bit more. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take Just a Kiss. Place that in my inner corner, my tear duct, I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. And of course, like always, I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara and coat my top and bottom lashes with this. Now for lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and take my House of Lashes Lashes in the Style Iconic Light, just cause I do want that flutter out on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and I'll be right back to show you how everything looks. This is how the eyes look all completed. All right guys, and this is the completed look. And of course, I will leave everything that I used on my face in my description box below. Feel free to check that out if you're curious. The only thing that I did change in my face makeup is the foundation I'm using. Of course, I'm using the Huda Beauty because I did say I will be testing it out for a week if you guys saw that review. So if you guys wanna know my final thoughts on this 
foundation stick i will leave it in the review video that i did for you guys and i promise i will do a full glam tutorial for you guys down to my foundation eyeshadow everything so you guys get to get ready with me so if you guys love this tutorial please make sure to give me a thumbs up comment below let me know what your guys' favorite eyeshadow palettes are and also don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss another makeup tutorial i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys